What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Tom and the Hammer here hanging out with BC Olivia doing the group dynamic on a weekend and it is BC's pick. BC, my boy, what have you brought to the stable tonight, man? So it's been a little while since we've done a review together and I know that Tom loves Takashi Miike. I do. I love Takashi Miike and you know what? Even Olivia likes Takashi Miike. So I figured I would go with the film that I knew neither of them had seen. Uh, it's a rainy day in Kent, Ohio. So I said, let's go with Rainy Dog. Um, it is a Yakuza film from Mike, so most people associate him with horror, but as Tom and I were talking about, you can't put him into a box. He's made over a hundred movies. You know, I'm super stoked to have these guys over for the group dynamic, and as BC was saying, we love Mike in this house. You guys know this routine. Without further ado, check out that trailer. Peep that, that shit. We get back. You guys are gonna know our opinions on what is it, BC? Rainy Dog. Rainy Dog. Okay, guys, we just got done watching Takashi Miike's Rainy Dog. Um, holy fucking shit. This movie had me wrapped from the get-go. With a narrative this thick, it suits the cinematography perfectly. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I feel like this is an excellent film. One of my favorite Takashi Miike's now. It, it is a summer movie in the sense of, like, it's yes, it's rainy, but it's hot. Um, this is going to seem like a weird comparison, but like Do the Right Thing is a summer movie. Like oh, it's yeah. just sweltering hot. A lot of emotions are bumbling beneath the surface. Yeah. And this is kind of the same thing, but just with rain as another central component. Mm -hmm. um, and Tom made a great point that like it feels kind of like a Western. And I would agree, like you're following this, this main figure, this main man. Uh, he's not necessarily the greatest person, or you don't quite know, you don't really know his story, um, but he gets kind of sucked into this very specific location, these very specific conflicts. <laughs> um, I enjoyed this, but I think I was not, I don't think I was in the right headspace to be able to properly process this. Um, right after a birthday party barbecue <laughs> at the park with lots of kids and balloons and some deviled eggs. Oh, are we do already doing yep. strike counts? Yep, okay. you're, you're right we on were, the right track. I thought we were going back. Yep, we are. Okay. You're doing them all the way down. So, I'm starting the star counts, I guess. Um, I guess I'm going to wait. It's a seven. Out of 10. That's good. Uh, so the first time that I rated this, I rated it a 9 out of 10. Uh, very high rating. I loved it. And so after revisiting it, I loved it even more. I'm going to a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I think that this is a top tier Mike movie. This rewatch was all I needed to confirm it. Um, again, you think of Ichi the Killer, Audition, 13 Assassins, maybe even Dead or Alive. But he had a whole host of Yakuza films all throughout the 90s into the 2000s. And this sure. is one of the best, so 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think you know where I'm going. I'm already at a 10 out of 10 with this movie. 
love Mike, love his films, you know. Uh, earlier we were kind of comparing this to one of his later works, which is uh, Takashi Mike's First Love, which was a very uh, stripped down and um, I don't want to say bare as bones. A straightforward crime. But it was, yeah, it was a straightforward crime story and it was good, but this has all of those elements and then some.